Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley. Good morning, Philip. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the kind of person to get jealous very easily or ever. Morning, Claire. Derek. Aww. Emily. Good morning. Isabel. no such habit. It's somebody else who's leaving the wet towels on the bathroom floor. Not me. So tomorrow we'll have a snowy day here and a sunny one on Ginger Island. And today's luck is uh, somewhat not so good live-in of the land. The last new episode of living of the land. The legend of the magic fish. Live in a secret pond and can be found only during winter. Okay. And then from now on, the Living of the Land episodes are going to be reruns. Okay then. I don't know that I'll want to even try to catch all the legendary fish in the game, but... Well, I guess we'll think about that at some point. I'm more into experiencing the different people's stories and, and, um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it, actually. Experiencing the stories, that's my thing. I don't so much care about the, uh, challenges or achievements. I know some people do, and I'm sure trying to catch all the legendary fish is a fun challenge for them. But I myself am not that kind of a person, so I don't think I will be attempting to catch all of them. And then sell these. So we have quite a bit of cooking to do this morning. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's get the eggs as well. Once again, a lot of different ones. We can make some fish stew and and then we can also make some rice pudding and what was the cake called again? Fridge mosaic cake, something like that. Let's start with the fish stew to free up some inventory. Well, actually, <laughs> making the rich mosaic cake would free up a lot of inventory space as well, seeing as it uses up the eggs. But uh, we'll begin with making some fish stew. Mmm. Ah, uh, there they are. 
kind of starting to run low on the crayfish. May have to think of another use for the tomatoes for a little while. Let the crayfish and the periwinkles as well accumulate a little. Although, I do keep forgetting, we've got the uh, gold quality crayfish in the... Was it marine or freshwater? I think they're freshwater. Yeah, so in the freshwater crab pot chest. I guess we could grab all but one of those and then... I uh, use them as well. Yeah, I think that'd work. Pretty nicely. And I mean, the crayfish go in there anyway. So, I don't know that we'll even have to save one. Although, I guess we could save a few of them. I mean, who knows what the fish pond fish are going to ask me to bring them. And if they ask for like, I don't know, 10 crayfish, it'll be nice to just have them on hand. So yeah, maybe I'll keep like 10 crayfish stored in there. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. I think those were the last of the cakes. Yep, rice pudding next. Getting us that cooking axe. Almost done. Just one more after this one. And last one. Right. So we'll put the ingredients back in here and then some of the food into here. Oh, I guess I forgot to put some of the cakes in there as well. There we go. It'll be good to have some of those on hand. Oh, thank you, Snowdrop. Sebastian. So yeah, it'll be good to have some of those on hand just in case they're somebody's favorite thing or something. Right. Uh, let's take a look at our animals. Good morning. Oh yeah, we don't have anything there. Already used up all of the eggs. Good morning. Got the wool. We'll process it. And I think I want to go check on the garlic. I think it was garlic that was supposed to be harvestable today. Yes. So I want to put some of this into the fridge. So we'll be able to make some escargot tomorrow. And then also some into the seed making chest. We'll put the higher quality ones in here. Because they are more likely to produce like more seeds. 
than the lower quality ones, I think. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow morning we'll have a nice number of uh, garlic seeds that we can sow. Keep producing that escargot and uh, using it for cooking eggs. Nice. A geode. Or an omni geode, rather. Put the row in here. And the omni geode, of course, goes into the smelting chest. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> we have a limestone. Oh, thank goodness, finally. Okay, I want to give this a try. Um, get the diamond from in there and uh, put that back down. Oh, nice. Okay, then. Well, um, at some point we'll have a few limestones in the smelting chest. I think I'm going to keep that on uh, producing limestones for a little while. So we'll have a couple of them in storage. Um, just in case some other kind of fish decides to ask for limestones as well. Got three in here again. I'll get one more in there before I empty it. Or, or like before I pull all of them out and empty the pond. Because um, it'll be nice to have one in storage. And just in case some other kind of fish decides to ask for those as well. And yeah, once we get one more of those ice devils in there, then, then we can start producing the uh, ghost eels. Let's go and see the dwarf before we go into the festival. Dwarf, hello. Happy winter feast. Thank you. Ah, can we give you a gift? I think I've already given you two gifts this week, though. Ah, come on, game. It's the day of the winter feast. I should be able to give gifts today. I mean, to people other than my, um, the recipient of my secret gift as well. Alright, so people who weren't here last year, Jesse, Linus was, but, um, uh, Okay. Hello, honey. Waxing energies. Ooh, iridium bar. Thank you. Wow. A good meal sounds lovely. Love rail. Okay. Mm, that was so sweet. Um, 
That's just a snowman, not Zen. I have to check. <laughs> Zen is pretty good at making costumes. Oh, there's Zen with Bible. Hello, Sophia. Did you bring a gift to the dog? Or was it somebody else? Bible? <laughs> Zen? Yeah, I bet you could. You're so good at crafting things. Ah. <laughs> Our very own secret Santa for everybody. That's a lovely thought. Henry? Sterling? got Shane here too, so they do know something about um, people who um, have issues. Gunther? Thank you. And uh, two Marlins as well. <laughs> Rodney. And then this is where the rich side people are. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess I'm already at like a um, pretty high pot level with everybody here though. Nobody here we'd uh, really need to chat with. Lady Sheba? I wish I could bring you a present. I totally would. Was that... Oh. I think that's Oliver. Is Oliver's mom here somewhere? As well? Josephine. Was it Josephine? I think so, yeah. Sandy, hello. Tristan? I don't think I see Josephine. At least I'm not spotting her. Juliet? Thank you. go find the person, don't I? I need to go find Isabel. I wonder where exactly she's at over here. 
Isabel, there she is. Thank you, Jade. I do like it. Jasper. Um, right. Oliver. I? Your dad couldn't make it. Um... Is your mom here? I, um... Well... If she is, I'm... Unable to spot her. So I guess I'll be going. I don't think Pierre had anything all that great to sell here. At least if I remember correctly. Um, speaking of selling things... We need to put some things away, and then... Uh, I guess we could sell that rainbow shell. We've got some iridium quality ones there. Put the meat in there, just in case we need it for something. And that in there. I guess we could sell the, um, these things. We've got six iron bars. That is enough for six kegs. And, um, I know it's not a lot, but it will help. Hmm, I guess I do want to go mine for more iron, though. And while I'm at it, slay some of those, uh, suit sprites. Nine garlic seeds. Okay. We'll sow those in the morning. For now, let's get to bed. I know it isn't very late yet, but uh, there's not really all that much that I'd uh, do this late at night anyway. Oh, finally level 10 cooking. Uh, worth more or befriend quicker? Worth more or befriend quicker? Which one? Befriend quicker maybe? Twenty two thousand. Could have been better, but uh, well, not too bad. Right, so in the next episode, we'll reset our cooking skill and, of course save the cooking ingredients for when our skill is back at level zero. So I don't think I'll be cooking anything in the next episode because we'll have to sleep overnight um, for the skill to reset. 
Um, also, I want to go and visit Lavriel, see if that strange sound we heard the other night had anything to do with her and her house. And uh, the traveling merchant will be in town. And I guess we'll maybe go mine some iron as well. We'll see. For now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.